Hello everyone, welcome to this course of Power BI. First of all, I want to introduce myself as your instructor in this course. My name is Engineer Sharif Al Gindi, and I currently work as planning engineer. I am studying now for my master's degree from Ain Shams University in Egypt, and I also have a bachelor's degree from Ain Shams University, Egypt, and I got my PMB. Certificate Professional Project Manager from the American Project Management Institute PMI. I am also the owner of pmproguide.com and this is a website that have many articles about project management and Excel templates and tools and also free courses. So let's uh, talk about our course goals. Our course mainly will be about Power BI and how to create your first dashboard using Power BI. We mainly will use data from Primavera P6 as Primavera is the most, uh, the most interesting and the most useful and the most famous uh, planning and scheduling tool over the world. So Primavera P6 has raw data about any project like uh, activities, activities ID, activity name, uh, planned start, planned finish, and original duration of the activities. So we are now going to use this raw data to create simple and neat and good looking visuals to create interactive dashboards using Power BI. So our course goals, this is what you will learn in this course and what and what will you be able to create after finishing this course first of all you will learn how to get familiar with Power BI you will learn all about the menus and the formatting tools and how to change colors how to create new uh, visuals how to, how to change everything in the visuals the legends the colors the columns everything Second thing, you will learn how to collect data from Primavera P6. So Power BI is a visualization tool. It has to have some data at first to create the visuals with it. So we need to have a source of data. Our source of data in this course will be Primavera P6, the scheduling and planning tool. So after collecting data from P6, this data need to be cleaned. So we will clean this data using Excel. After that, we will import this data from Excel to Power BI, and then we will use Power BI to create our first dashboard easily and simply. We will learn from the scratch how to download Power BI, how to understand every menu, every single button in the software, and you will create at the end of this course your first dashboard using Power BI to understand the data of your project. You don't need to have any knowledge of Primavera P6. You don't need to have any knowledge of Excel. You don't need to have any knowledge of Power BI. You will learn everything in this course. We will have the project step by step how to copy the data, how to collect the data, how to transfer and clean the data, how to import and export, and how to create our first dashboard step by step. So stay tuned and wait for us in the next video. Welcome to the first video in this course. In this video, we will learn how to download Power BI and we will have a quick look on how the software works. So, to download Power BI easily, you can go to the search in the Windows and open the store, Microsoft Store. Power BI is a Microsoft software, so it can, it can be downloaded easily from the Microsoft Store. After opening Microsoft Stores, he can, here we can see some applications. We will go to the search bar and write Power BI and hit the enter button. Okay, now it's Power BI. We need Power BI desktop. So this is a better version. So we need to download this version Power BI desktop and click download. I already downloaded it before, so I will just click open. I will wait for it until it opens.
and here it is power bi open successfully this is a welcome window we can simply close it and here power bi is a very simple software it's a microsoft software like microsoft word microsoft excel microsoft powerpoint so it has some uh, differences maybe from these apps but they all share the simplicity so here we have file so here we can save save as import export like every microsoft software here we have the home menu from here we can get data from like uh, excel from a database from a csv file and here we can get a data from excel directly and here are some other options from where we can get and collect data here we have the insert menu where we can insert new visuals and create a new page and also we can create from here a text box or a button or a shape or we can insert an image from modeling menu we will have some information about modeling data modeling like relationships and data tables we will get into this later in the view menu here we have the themes we can change the colors of the whole report by one click sure we can try it after creating some visuals but now we are having a very quick tour into all the menus from here we can change to mobile layout to create a custom reports for uh, mobile layout to be customized for the mobile not only stretched and here we can have filters bookmarks and selection pane selection is like layers in photoshop if you are familiar with photoshop and you know the layers uh, concept selection is similar to the layers concept and here from optimize menu we can refresh our visuals we can pause so uh, pause means that we don't want the visuals to collect real-time data and refresh when we hit refresh you can read get the latest data with a one-time refresh so if we click refresh here all our visuals that we will create later will be updated to gather the new data which may be uh, have been have been changed to gather the new data and create new visuals with the new numbers okay and here we have the help menu if you want to see the documentation if you want to go to the power bi plug or have a support or consulting service you can have it from here so uh, here we have the simple menu for power bi we can add a text box here we can add visuals and this is the main menu and at the left here we have three menus one of them is, is report view and second one is data view or table view so we can have uh, a look at our data data tables and here the third one is model view where we can create relationships between models uh, between tables and if there are some of you familiar with data modeling and creating data modeling and relationships between tables in excel is the same thing here okay from here we can change to desktop view or mobile view so mobile view will be a vertical layout especially for mobiles and here desktop layout view here we can create we can create multiple pages page 1 page 2 page 3 of our dashboard okay and from here the most important menu is the visualizations menu from here we can create visualizations using our data and from here we can see our data sure after we add data we can see it from here and here are filters if we want to filter the whole page or filter a specific visual you may not understand everything of what i say but be patient and just have a quick look i just want you to get familiar with the software 
uh, to have a quick look uh, to the main menus so don't be afraid from a new software uh, so I think that's it we had a quick look at Power BI and in the next video we will start we will dive automatically we will dive directly into the work and start getting data from Primavera in the next session we will start getting our data and cleaning it and exporting it to Power BI to create our first dashboard our goal from this course is to create the first dashboard and not be afraid from the new software after creating your first dashboard everything will be changed you can learn new things by yourself you can start searching for another advanced course but my goal again my goal in this course is to let you create your first dashboard after finishing this simple small course thank you and see you in the next session hello and welcome in a new video from the power bi course in today's video we will learn how to collect data from primavera and connected with power bi so if you are not familiar with primavera p6 don't worry i will give you the attachment and i will give you the data directly you don't need to understand what i am doing here you can easily skip this video if you're not familiar with power bi and if you're not a planning engineer but if you are a planning engineer or familiar with Power BI or you have data of your projects on Power BI so this video is for you so we have a project here called Power BI it has some WBSs, it has some activities we here have activity ID for those who are not in the construction field or not familiar with planning and scaling we have here a project this project is divided to some activities like project start date, project finish, mobilization activities, engineering activities to prepare and submit some designs, some drawings. So if we went to the construction, this level is WBS, WBS meaning work breakdown structure. Work breakdown structure is a set of activities that are maybe similar, have some similarities like this activity and this activity are elevation work side wide so our project is divided into set of activities so every activity has a cost like if we went like uh, install cables install cables is an activity so this is the activity name every activity has an id so here we have activity id and also every activity has main WBS so cables are electrical works so here we have electrical works from here so this activity this is the ID of the activity and this is the name and this is the WBS name or the work breakdown structure or the main title of the activity call it whatever you want and here we have the plan date of this activity the plan date is 24 October 2023 and this activity will end at 12 november 2023 and this activity cost is 150,000 whatever saudi real dirham dollar egyptian pound whatever this activity installing submain distribution board is electrical works too from 1st of November to 29th of November and its cost is 30,000 we can have a look at another set of activities here we have civil works construction of speed humps uh, curb stones cabinets supply and install of the curbs 12,000 and so on so here we have some data I won't call it random data but here we have some data we want to use this raw data to create some visuals, to create dashboards, to create some filters. So what we want to do is to copy this data and to paste it in a new Excel sheet that we will use later to sort our data, to clean our data 
and then export it to Power BI. So all we have to do here is to delete this red and blue and blue and green levels. So if you're again, if you're familiar with Power BI, you will understand what I'm talking about. And if you're not familiar to Power BI, you do not have to understand anything. You can directly skip to the next video. So what I am going to do is going to group and sort and delete this sorting. So here we will have the activities directly. Activity ID, activity name, WBS, plan start, plan finish and budget total cost of the activity. I will open a new Excel sheet. And simply I will go here and click Control A to select all the activities right click and copy and then go to our Excel sheet and go to the first cell here right click and paste so here we have our data in Excel we can do this to widen the columns so here we have activity ID, activity name, WBS name, plan start, plan finish, and budget total cost. Here we pasted the same activities from Primavera P6 to our Excel. This is the, the first step into connecting Primavera and getting data from Primavera and sorting it in Excel and cleaning it. Then we will export it to Power BI to create our dashboards. So that's it for today's video and i will wait for you in the next video to learn how to manipulate this data and to sort it and create tables from it here in microsoft excel then we will learn how to export it to power bi so thank you and goodbye hello and welcome again on our power bi course and how to create your first power bi dashboard easily in the previous video, we learned how to get data from Primavera P6 and paste it into Excel. And in today's video, we will learn some tips and tricks on how to sort data in Excel in order to export it to Power BI later. So first of all, here we have our data. We can select it like this. Control Shift down to go to the end of the data. So after selecting all data, just from the keyboard, click on Control T. Control T is to create a new table. So create a new table. So from our set of data, we created a table. So tables is the definition that Power BI understand. It doesn't understand some raw data. It needs to be in a table form in order to Power BI to understand it. So after creating the table, we have to, we don't have to, but it's better to name our tables because later after we have some 10 or 20 table of data, you will get confused between them. So after creating our table from table design, we will rename our table. So we will call it data from P6. Ah, data from P6, we can create spaces. We can write space too. We can create from underscore P6. Okay, now we renamed our table. Also, we can rename this sheet one, or maybe you can leave it alone. So, here is the step of revising our data so have a quick look to our activity ids no problem no so at this step we want to delete every cell that has random samples in them we will need this column and this column to have only dates dates and planks planks mean that activity doesn't has a finish date that's because it's a start milestone start milestones doesn't have or don't have finish dates and likewise finish milestones doesn't have start dates 
so here we have this we have this and here we have our cost that's all for now here we have our data in excel okay now after editing our data and checking our data in excel all we have to do is to save this file so save as and choose the location that you want to save these files into i will rename this sheet as data and i will export this excel sheet and leave it give it to you in the description or in the download section of this video so after we finished this sheet we don't need it so close and save and also we don't need primavera anymore the only thing we need here is power bi so open power bi let's minimize these windows after open power bi you can see here that we that the main or the first option that we have let's delete these pages too delete delete so page one the first option here is to import data from excel so simply click on it import data from excel which file we want to import data from our file here it's called data so click open and it is connecting so after connecting it will ask us what data from this excel sheet you want to import remember when i told you that you have to rename your table to remember it later and to select it in power bi and import this is our data table so click on it and you can check your data here activity name activity id wbs name plan store plan finish and total cost and click load after clicking load it will take some moments to load your data mm -hmm. creating connection in data model loading data to model okay it's finished it's done haha <laughs> you will ask how it's done it's done connecting now we connected our data to power bi but it has the data stored but we don't have any visuals yet to show our data so the question is how can i see my data how can i see my data in power bi how to check the data again in power bi remember when we checked all the menus of power bi we said something about data view or table view mm -hmm. that's right from here table view if you clicked here you will see all of your data aha uh -huh. this is your data activity id activity name wbs name plan start plan finish of the activity and budget total cost can you see it right now power bi automatically understood that this is a date and got the day correctly of the date for all of them and got also the total cost of them from here we can create some sorting on the data like from here we can choose a specific day we can choose a specific month we can choose a specific uh, data between from a specific date to another date but we don't need to do this here and right now we will talk about this later so here we have our data and here in the model view you can see when you have more than one table if you have five table some table will be here the other one will be here so we can create connections between data tables we will get into this later in the advanced or professional level but here in the basic level we need to create only our first dashboard so get back to the report view so now after knowing that we have our data in power bi we need to create some visuals mm -hmm. that's the next step 
that we will talk about in the next video thank you and see you in the next video hello again in a new video in today's video or in this video we will learn after importing our data from excel to power bi how to create our visuals and how to create our dashboard so the first thing we will need to know in this video is this visualizations menu here we have the visuals that are already stored in power bi and that's not all the visuals we can use we can download another visuals from the store it has many nice things so here from here we can build visuals and from here we can format visuals so the first step is as you can see here select or drag fields from the data pane onto the report canvas what they mean by data pane data pane is this window this window has all our data directly so we can drag and drop our data in the dashboard of course you don't understand anything be patient and step by step with me so from this data window this is data from p6 remember what is data from p6 data from p6 is the table in the excel you remember when we call the data table data from p6 so so this means this is the data table if we have more than one table you will see all of them here so we have one table this table contains data so if we click here we will see all the columns of this table if you remember that table had activity id activity name and total cost plan finish plan start and wps name if you noticed Power BI again sorted these dates as dates. It understood automatically that the, that the data here are dates. So you can see this is stored here as dates. And it, it also understood automatically that the budget total cost is numbers. So numbers have the submission symbol here to for you as an indication to know that this is numbers. You can create uh, calculations on these numbers so here that means that these columns are dates and these and this column is uh, numbers so what is the first thing that we want the first step for you is to think what you want to see from your data Remember when I told you that our data is some sort of activities in a construction project. So here we have some activities and here we have the cost of every activity. And here we have the plan finish and the start and WBS name of each activity. So we can start with the simplest visual. We can create a simple table. So here we have table and matrix this is a table and this is a matrix so what we want to do is to add a table simply click on a table you can see that it automatically inserted a table here but this is a table with no data we have to drag and drop our data so select the table what data we want to see in this table we want to see for example the activity name so drag the activity name and drop it here in columns or drop it here on the visual after dropping we can here stretch the table we can see all the activity names here in the table what we want to see beside the activity name for example i want to see the total cost so simply you can click here easily or you can drag and drop this here or you can drag and drop here so let's try it here drag and drop the budget total cost here it automatically understood that this is a cost this is money this is numbers so it will sum this cost at every level so at the end of all of these activities 
it calculated the total to be what 1839962 so here it calculates the submission of them so if one of them is asking what if i wanted to calculate the average or the minimum or the maximum simply click on this arrow you can change the equation to don't summarize at all to calculate the average calculate the minimum to calculate the maximum and to count to calculate the standard deviation the variance the median or whatever you want so we will leave it as it is what also we want to see here in our table i want to see plan finish and i also want to see plan start here we have two problems the first problem and the easiest one is we are now having the finished dates before the plan dates what if i want to get this data here and this data here simply drag and drop the plan start and drop it here so here we have the our order activity name total cost plan start plan finish okay if you are asking why power bi is sorting the data the dates like this by year quarter month and day this is the default data orientation that power bi have you can easily change it by clicking on this small arrow and select the plan start date so this is this data is called this column of data is called plan start so don't choose data hierarchy choose plan start so the dates will change automatically to be in this shape we will do the same for the plan finish so click here on plan finish you can see the dates like this if you are asking what if i want to change the uh, format of the dates formatting of dates of what of plan start so go to plan start plan start after clicking on the data here you can see that this menu is changed so here in column tools here we have the data type data type is date no problem with this our format this is what we want to change so simply click here and here you can see all the data formats all the date formats you want to choose so simply we want uh, this type of formatting after clicking it will automatically change for all the dates we want the same for the plan finish so we will cl click here uh, no not here we will click here on the plan finish so here from the formatting i want it to be a short date like this uh, no i want the month in not in uh, in letters so i will choose this Mm -hmm. that's right and this is not the only way to do it so if we change it the format to another format to learn another way to do it the way that we are that we have just learned is to click here on the date and from here we can change its its format we have another method just go to the table view here we have the data we can change it from here to the, this plan finish dates these dates are the dates that we want to change their uh, formatting and finish so simply from the table view select the whole column and change the formatting from here so you are free to use any of these methods some of you are asking what if i want this cost of the activities to have decimals the same thing you can create it from here or from the table view so what is this sum of budget total cost so go to budget total cost and click on it and simply here just like excel if you want to add this comma for thousands it's automatically added we can increase 
in the decimal places one place two places we can change the currency to whatever we want for USD for example now we change it, it automatically also we can change it from the table view if we went here budget total cost and select the whole column we can change it from here change the decimal places uh, put comma or delete the comma we can also change the currency from here mm, Chinese for example I don't know if any one of you is from China we can currency general to delete the currency uh, to use mm, okay just use the dollar and delete this decimal places I think this orientation and this layout is good so getting back to our report view so this is the start of our report we created a simple table in our report to view the activity names and the total cost and plan start plan finish of our data now we want to create another visual another visual um, maybe we can create a pie chart so what if we clicked here on a pie chart if we clicked here remember that we are selecting now this corners is active that means that this visual is active if a visual is active and we clicked on another visual this visual will automatically turns into this visual so let's have an example here we are activating the table visual if we click here on the pie chart this will change automatically to a pie chart we don't want that we want it as a table we want to add pie chart so just click at any empty place in the canvas and click on the pie chart after clicking on the pie chart we can put it here we can resize it like this so here in this pie chart what we want to see I think I want to see the activities divided by the WBS with the cost of each WBS so I want to see WBS and cost so if you don't need uh, if you don't know what to do just try drag and drop the WBS name at values or at legend or at details let me teach you something values in power bi means numbers values means numbers so what are the numbers that will we will see in this chart Mm -hmm. the numbers are the cost so the values here will be the cost so we will start by adding the values here so we have the total value of the project with 18 million mm -hmm. that's correct how we want to divide this 18 million we want to divide it by the WBS name so you can add the WBS name here or here let's try add it to the legend so here we have this pie chart divided by the different WBS name civil works electrical works landscaping whatever we can also edit add the details the same here we have our pie chart divided by the WBS names for the handover for the landscaping for the mechanical works for the milestones to see the cost of each wbs so what if we deleted this wbs name and added the activity name we will divide the cost of this 18 million over all the activities so this is a hard shape to understand so we will only add the WBS name 
okay this is the main two visuals in our uh, simple dashboard so what if we are uh, if we need to filter some uh, some data here what if we want to show the activities that are in uh, month january for example or if we want to filter the activities that are procurement only for example and this is what the filters are and this is the topic of the next video thank you for watching and wait for the next video hello again in today's video we will learn how to add filters to our report page so filters are from here filters are visuals we can add them to our power bi report so the question is what are the criteria that we want to filter the activities by here in this situation we want to filter the activities by dates we want to see if the plan start is between some dates so we will filter by the planned start we want the activities that will start uh, in Jan or in October so just drag and drop the plan start here or here like we learned before so after dropping it the uh, the filter or the slicer will change automatically to be with this shape here we have a slicer we have a scroll bar or whatever you want to call it uh, I like to call it a slicer or a slider to choose a specific data the specific dates that we want to filter these dates so simply by dragging this value or dragging this value or directly choosing a specific start date and finish date to filter the dates between them all of the data in this report will be changed automatically so check with me if I uh -huh. now we filter this data and this data to be from 12 17 2023 to 7 16 2024 now you only have to learn uh, how to create this slicer date slicer to choose a specific data for uh, criteria a specific criteria like the start date uh, for example we want all the activities that will start um in july 2023 we have activities from 18 until if we went to july 2023 uh, july until 31 so this is july here we have all the activities that have planned start in july and here we have the total of the activities that will start in July. So here you can know uh, specific activities that will start in a specific month and also know the cost of them. And here we can see the distribution of these activities over the different WBS names. We see that we have civil works here for 23K. We have elevation works. For, uh, we have mobilization for 3k 3.26 percent of the total works in this month is mobilization and so on so here after creating our first filter to filter by this we want to create another filter to filter by this WBS I want this table to be changed when I choose for example, I want to see all the activities only for procurement. How can we do this? Simply we can, for now, we can create this by clicking on any segment of this pie chart. For example, this segment, if we hover over it, we can see here that this is seven works. If we click here, all the filter will be 
filled all the the project or the dashboard or all the report will be filtered automatically to only show the seven works activities. So here our seven works activities are ten thousand. Here are eleven. Ten point five is eleven. No problem. We will learn also how to increase the digits here later. If we click here, we can see the data of the electrical works. Electrical works is $5.543. It's also six, uh, $6 million. Five, ah, this is $5 million, not 5000 Okay, $5 million for the uh, electrical works activities. So how to delete the filter after selecting all the electrical works, how to get, uh, how to see all the activities again, just click again on this to deactivate it. So after activating a filter, we can click again to deactivate it. So if I don't want to filter by this pie chart, I want a checklist to check some of these WBS and all the data will be changed automatically to the WBSs I selected. Okay, no problem. Filter, we want to add a filter and filter here means a slicer. So easily we can go to a slicer, click here. It will automatically import a slicer in the empty space in our report. So what we want to filter with? We want to filter with WBS name. So simply drag and drop the WBS name here. Ta -da! We will see a checklist of all the WBSs. We can check the civil works. So, so this table will show us only the civil works and this pie chart will show only the civil works. We can select the mechanical works. So we only see mechanical works. Let's try clicking control while choosing another one to select the both of them. So here we can see more than one WBS in the same pie chart. If we selected, for example, civil works also, the pie chart will be divided on the three of them, civil works and elevation works. I don't think this is elevation, I think it's low voltage, I don't know, uh, and mechanical works too. So this is basically how to add filters to your dashboard. In the next session, we will learn how to format these visuals. We will learn how to change the colors, the font, the size, the alignment of the table here. We can change the, everything, the title, the legend, these data labels, the colors of the segments of the pie chart. We will learn another formattings of the filters. We will learn a lot of things in the next session, so wait for us. Hello again in a new session. In today's session, as we said in the last session, we will learn how to format the visuals in Power BI. So we will get started with the table uh, visual. After selecting and activating the visual, here we have format your visual. So this is the main menu of formatting our visual. Before going to formatting our visual, there is a thing I want to say here. What if I want to change this name? This column is activity name. What if I want to call it activity name? Uh, what if I want to call it name only, not activity name? Simply by double clicking on this, I will have the ability to change it. So I can choose name here, total cost. I want to name it by cost only and here plan start let's call it start and plan finish let's just call it finish okay this is the first step i renamed the columns so now i will activate the table visual by clicking on it 
and then head to the format your visuals we will have a quick look and a quick overview over uh, most of the formatting options here we have style presets style presets that uh, means that we have presets of different colors or different layouts of table we can change from them to minimal bold header alternating rows contrast alternating rows flashy rows bold header mm. I think I like this one or maybe I will choose the alternating row I think this is the best one for me so after that mm, for the grid maybe we want to change the grid values we said before that values means numbers values in power bi means numbers so changing anything in the value that means we are changing the formatting of these numbers so values here we can change the font of the numbers to any font we want let's choose arial mm, i prefer the default font here the height the size of the font we can make it bold we can make it italic or underlined or whatever we want we can change the text color text color will change the first and the third and the fifth row and so on these white rows are called text colors and the other rows are called alternate text colors so if we change this to blue only the first third fifth will change into blue to change the other ones we have to choose colors from here so here that's why because that's why we used uh, alternating rows so let's get and then back to the default color as it's very simple and very neat and easy to read so we will minimize the values menu in columns headers we will see details about columns headers so these headers we can make them bold we can make the alignment in the middle of the table we can change the background color like this easily let's get it back to black so here we have auto some options to auto size like this auto signs means if the data is stretched the column will stretch auto with it so you are welcome to activate or deactivate it okay column headers totals total means this totals row if you want to activate it or deactivate it it's from here from here on off you can show the totals or not and you if you show the totals you can also make it bold make it uh, bigger make it smaller whatever you want here we have a specific column specific column is to edit every column of these columns Power BI gives you the ability to format each column alone. So if we went to specific columns and choose what which column that we want to format. For example, I want to format the cost column. I want the cost to be centered in the uh, column. So first of all, I choose cost here, and then the alignment I will choose center. So here we center the core the the cost for example i want to center the start and finish dates too so i will increase this a little bit to see the difference if i chose the start dates and chose center it will be centered and the finish dates also i want them to be centered okay now from the general menu we can change some properties of the table we can change the height the width the position of it the padding from the right from the left from the upper and the lower 
heading means the space that the table uh, leaves space, empty space that the table have around it. So it will be not very close to another visual. So from here we can add a title to the uh, to the visual. If we opened it, we can create a title like uh, data table or data table breakdown. So as you see here, we added a, a name to this visual data table breakdown. We can change it as we want. We can put a divider for it like this. We can increase the width of this divider. We can also change the heading of and the size of this uh, title. And the spacing between the title and the divider. I can change it from here. It's maximum at 10 pixels. We can also change some effects of this table. Like we can add a background to it. We can add a border. As you see here, we added a border for this table. Let's get back to general effects. We can add border. We can add shadow like this. We added a shadow for our report. Get back to general effects. We added shadows. That's all. I think this is now a good table. Now we will move to our pie chart. First of all, I want to change its name. So names means titles. So I will go to format. Mm, I will go to general title and I will change its title. I will make it by chart WBS. Here it's called by chart WBS. I want to add a divider and I want to increase spacing to 10. Okay, I want it to be. Mm, let's make it center. Okay, what else? We can change the legend. Legend it is this thing. We can change the location of it. Mm, I prefer it at the bottom center, like this. It gives a bigger space, bigger area for the pie chart. So the text, text of the legend. Here we have the main title is legend. Under the legend we have options, text, title. So text is the text of the legend. It means this text. We can change it from here. We can change the color. If we want it bold, if we change the size of the text, we can also change the title of the legend, this title. From here, we can change it to whatever we want. Slices. Slices means this slices of the pie chart. We can change the colors of it from here. For the civil works, for example, I want to choose black. For the elevation works or the ELB works, I want to choose white or this color. And for mechanical, for example, this color, change this black to gray, maybe another color, maybe blue. So here we have the opportunity and we are free to change our colors to whatever we want. And detail labels means the data here. Of each slice is this detail label. So if we deactivated it, it won't show any data, but it's really, really useful. So we have to activate it always. It's better to activate it. We can change the position of it to be outside or inside, or prefer to be outside or prefer to be inside if you have the opportunity. So we have here it side. I want to change it to outside data contents what will be shown in this data for example i want to show the value only i want to show a percentage only i want to show data value with the percentage i prefer this one values here means numbers 
So if we click on values, we will have the opportunity to edit these numbers formatting. So format, we can change this to be bigger. So we have the opportunity to understand the numbers. We can make them bold. We can display on by thousands, millions, or none. None means that we will see the accurate number. We can by thousand. This is 10 million and this is 417k. And here we have the decimal places of the percentage. If we are showing a percentage here, it's O2. If we decrease it, we will so we'll, you can see here that it's 92% only. We can change the decimal places from here. We can change the rotation of the pie chart to whatever you want. And from here, from general, we can also change the height, the width, the title as we did before. Mm, we can go to effects to create a visual border. We can create a shadow. So now we have our pie chart like this. And we have our table here. Let's format our uh, dates filter. Let's filter, select it first to activate, and then go to format, slicer settings. Choose the, sli the style of the slicer. With, if we choose a vertical list, we will have a vertical list of dates to choose between them. And that will be very hard. We don't want this. Sometimes in your situation, if you have small dates, like we, you only filtering by years or months, uh, so you are showing just four years or 20 months or uh, uh, 12 months or 10 months. Uh, I think the checklist will be better for you. Tile means that we will see the dates like this. Tiles, if we chose one tile, it will show us the activities that will start in this date. Simply we can choose by, con by uh, clicking on control. We can select more than one date like this. So we will deactivate it. We can change it to be between. Between is the default setting. Before or after or a drop down list. Drop down list with all your dates. Mm, I think the better one will be between if you have multiple dates or tiles if you have small number of dates or a vertical list if you have only years so let's choose between mm, I want to change this title that is called plan start we can change it from here or we can change it from general title we can add a title to called filter by start date filter by start date I want to change this plan start so I will go to data uh, visuals and change this to start date okay it's already changed I want to add the uh, effects let's add visual border let's add shadow maybe we can change the values a little bit the background the header Everything you want to change, you can change it easily. The border, the values, the background of the values, it's easily, you can edit from here. Okay, now what if we want to change this filter formatting? Easily, like this filter, just click on it, go to formatting we can start by creating a title this title will be filter by wbs and uh, we can add a visual border we can add shadow we want what if we want to add a background to this filter from here we have color but what if we want to have 
background rather than color think about it and we will get to it later what is this fx fx means conditional formatting conditional formatting means if like for example if we have total cost over 10000 let it let the background to be red and if we have total cost uh, over uh, 5 million let the background be green if we click here we can add a new rule if the text if value is text then the color will be like this uh, to understand this more we can go to this table and now in this table what if we want to highlight the cost of the activities that are exceeding the ten thousand dollar milestone for example i will choose this i will choose this table to activate it and later i will go to cost as i want to highlight the cost conditional formatting i want for example to change the background color of the cell so from here i don't use gradient i like to use rules so the rule is if the value is greater than zero i want the number and less than ten thousand the color will be green i want more colors and i want the greens okay i will add a new rule and if the value is more than or equal ten thousand until i reach like any big number 9999 i want the color to be something like this so here we have a problem let's know let's learn what is the problem Uh -huh, the problem is here we are uh, choosing percent not number so changing it to number and click ok so here we will see that all activities cost that are exceeding the 10,000 it will be highlighted in red and all the under 10,000 will be highlighted in green so here we can create simple and fast uh, conditional formatting in a minute that's all for today's video in the next video we will learn how to create a perfect layout to present this data uh, not this random uh, sort of, of uh, visuals we will learn to create a simple and effective and professional uh, report in power bi using the charts that we learned to add and using these filters too so wait for us in the next video and goodbye back again to our power bi course and in today's lesson we will learn how to use the visuals and the charts we created in the last two sessions to put it in a good looking report so first of all i will open a new page in this page i will build the layout that i want and then i will copy and paste visuals from here to this page so the first thing i want is to change the background of the whole report here i don't have any visuals so if i went to format menu it won't format the visuals it will format the whole report the background of the report so as you can see format your report page so if I clicked here and I went to canvas background, I can change the background color, for example, to this color and change the transparency to 0%. As you can see, the color here changed. The color here changed a little bit. Uh, the second step, I want to add a title to my dashboard. So here from text box i can add a text box here or from insert i can insert a text box too so if i click on a text box just like uh, word or excel i can start typing automatically so i will write power bi course first 
dashboard my first dashboard I think the second title is better so I want this title to be for this area and I want it to be increased and to be centered for example like this I want it to be in the middle of the report and I don't want the background of it to be like this so I will go to effects and background I and I will turn off its background so it will be transparent like this and I later will create a background for each visual so here we have a title maybe we can have another text box that says this dashboard is created by and add your name for example i will add my name Sharif El Gindi. i will increase this font a little bit i will make this bold and as we learned from general effects let's turn off the background and i will add this to the very end of the dashboard like here maybe the second thing we want is to add the uh, logo of our company so from insert we can insert image if I went here I can add my logo like this logo of my company I want to add it like here um what also i will start to arrange my dashboard what do you mean by arrange you will see right now so i will start inserting some shapes to arrange this area so from shapes i will create shape like this i will i want it to be middle and I want this shape, uh, general effect. I don't want a background. Maybe I want to change its color. So from here, I want the color to be white. So, and it has a border. I don't need this border. So from general effects, it doesn't have a border here. It may be in the style border. I will turn it off. So this area I want to uh, show, I want to view the title of the dashboard here over this shape. So if you remember the first, the very, very first lesson in this course, when I told you about some uh, menu in Power BI that is similar to Photoshop, remember, I told you that there is a window here like the layers concept of photoshop it's collect the selection so if we went to home uh, not home i think add view yes view selection here we will say the layer order of this uh, power bi report so our shape is at the upper so we can drag and drop it here to be at the end of the report so i will decrease it a little bit i want this logo to be here for example and i will increase this a little bit i want to change the size for example okay i will close this maybe I want to select this and increase it a little bit. I want it to be centered. Mm, the logo, I want it to be centered with the title. I think we are good right now. Maybe if you went like this and this went here. 
I think this is good. Maybe if it went uh, two or four pixels to the left, but no problem. Okay, the second thing here is to arrange the empty area here. So I will start to add a new shape. Or rather than creating a new shape, I can select this shape and control C and control V. I can create another shape like this for two thirds of the report. Mm, like this. I want to change this radius. So from shape, rounded corners, I will decrease this a little bit. Maybe like this. I think this is perfect. Okay, let's get this here to be okay. Here will be my table, and may uh, I can see also here to be my pie chart. I'm arranging the report in my mind, so I will use this data to rearrange it here in this dashboard. To be a good looking so uh, I'm thinking to add this table in the end here of the report and have the point chart here and have the filters here let's try this layout so I want to create maybe I will use this here And we can go with this to the very end of the dashboard. Maybe we can use it for the whole one. Mm -hmm. I think this is better. So I want to select this and get this like this a little bit. And the logo be here. The title to be here. And for this area, I can add the time filter. This time filter, I will click Control C, and here in page two, Control V, and I want to sync the filter. If I made any change here, it will be made in the other page two. I will resize it and add it here in this area. I want to remove the shadow and the border from it to be better good looking. So I want to go to format. No, I will select the visual first to activate its formattings. So from effects, I will turn off the background, turn off the visual border and turn off the shadow. Ta -da! It looks 1000 times better. Okay maybe uh, we can start uh, adding i can add a simple uh, what they call it a separator uh, a shape like this i want it to be vertical so i want i want it to be rotated by 90 degree I want to put this separator here to separate the text and the title from the filter. I think this is good. I want to control C, control V this and put another one here. At the same orientation. I think this is good. And now I will start to add my table and to add my pie chart here and to add the filter so i have an idea in my mind we can start by getting this table control c and adding it here like this mm, what if we increase this a little bit and increase this too i will sort it by names again if we clicked on this on name it will be sorted by name if we clicked on cost it will be sorted by cost decreasing or increasing as you can see right now 
So let's just add the table in this area. So like always, we want to delete its its background, delete its visual border, delete its shadow. Mm -hmm. I see it's good looking now. In this area, maybe I don't know. What do you think? Should we add uh, another slicer here or we add the pie chart? I'm thinking with you. Let's try. Try and error and see what will be the best shape for this report. Okay, let's get this pie chart from here. Control C and paste it here. Control V. And as always, go to general effect delete the background delete the border delete the shadow and here we have our great uh pie chart by wbs now i want to select the table like this and resize it like this or we can resize this uh pie chart I think the pie chart needs more area to be shown. And this is a good thing and an important important thing in creating dashboards is to look by the eye of the stakeholder and look by the eye of the owner of uh, and or the top management that will read this dashboard and ask yourself questions will this dashboard will be easy to read? or it will be difficult to understand and this is a great criteria to think about while arranging your uh, dashboard so i think the legends will be uh, better if it's shown here so let's try change the location of the legend to be um, center right like this i think this is better i think and this table we can add this table here we can decrease this a little bit like this decrease the start and also the finish dates i think i think that's cool maybe like this and this area we can add the filter this filter by wbs we can control c control v here and sync filters we will add this filter here so now i will delete the background delete the border and uh, maybe we'll change some colors in the dashboard and make it more perfect for the reader and this is what we are going to learn in the next video so that's it for this video and wait for us in the next video okay this is what we reached in the last session and we will continue here we have the filter by wbs we want to delete its background delete its visual borders and its shadows I think we have a better a style for this filter so from here slicer settings maybe let's try tiles I think tiles is better for this uh, filter so as we can filter fastly using the WBS I think this will be better ELB works, ELB works, electrical works, civil works. I think this is better. Okay, we will uh, deselect all the filters. Maybe this pie chart needs to be uh, I think it's good in this place. Maybe if we change the font of this 
values and again numbers in power bi means values so to change the numbers we have to search for values here so values and decrease them a little bit maybe we want to see auto no let's see them none to see the full number let's see them, see them by millions see them by thousands for the decimal places let them be auto i think we are good we are good until now uh, we can get this table in this place we can increase this one a little bit and here we have the total of the activities so if we choose several works we can see the total we can see each activity we can see the cost of each activity and from here if we chose if we didn't choose choose anyone we can see the distribution of all wbs's in our project so uh, now what i have an idea what if we deleted this total row and added a big cell here to show us the total mm, for example let's start by deleting this total or let's leave it let's add both of them and see which one will be better i will to uh, i want to show here a single value i want to show the cost so to show a single value we use a visual called card so where is the card where is the card so here is the card after clicking on the card i will put it here in this empty space maybe i will put it above the table because it's an important kpi the cost of the activity or of the total so what i want to see in this card i want to see the cost so let's drag and drop the cost from here to there or just click on the cost so here we can see the sum of budget total cost we can change it from here to total cost like this and what if i want to change the background of this one i want to change the effects i will change the background maybe the background i want to change the color of the uh, of this uh, value to be red or to be green at certain terms so if i want to change the value here in uh, visual i have call out value call out value this is a call out value so i want to decrease the size a little bit and its color i will create a conditional formatting conditional formatting i want it to be rules so the budget cost if it's from let's say zero zero is our minimum and less than let's say ten thousand this is a good cost so a cheap activity so let's do it in green and if our cost add a new rule exceeded ten thousand i think i have okay four zeros exceeded ten thousand until uh, infinity nine 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 I want to show it by red and click OK. So here, 18 million, it will be uh, red. If we chose a certain activity like curbstone, curbstone is for 200,000. If we chose another activity like this activity, uh, dual head emergency lights. If we clicked on this activity, all the all the report will be filtered by this activity. So the total cost is 4000 and it will be red if i selected this activity for 10500 this post will be like this so uh display units i want 
to to see all the numbers so this place i will click none to see the whole number so uh, i think this value may need a border I think let's check it with a border. Maybe if we decrease it a little bit like this. Mm, not the bit, not the best thing, but uh, uh -huh, with big numbers we need it to be bigger. So I think it will be in a good shape if it's like this, and if we decrease this like this so mm, let's move it a little bit so now you are completely finished to creating your first dashboard in power bi you started from collecting data and cleaning data using excel you imported data to Power BI and now you created a simple dashboard that has many visuals, that has many filters, that shows us real data, that gives the stakeholder or the top management the opportunity to show real data and show real visuals and real numbers that they can use to have and to take decisions hard decisions in their businesses so this is our lesson for today and thank you and finally we reached the end of this course i'm very happy that i was with you in this course and i hope that i uh, helped you to create your first dashboard on power bi so we will review again our course goals to see if we missed anything so our course goals were to get familiar with Power BI, to collect data from Primavera P6, to clean this data on Excel, to import the data to Power BI, and to create your first dashboard. And I think we did all this successfully, and we created our first dashboard on Power BI, and formatted the dashboard, created many filters, filtered by time filtered by a specific criteria like wbs we showed the uh, we showed certain numbers like total cost we showed the table of data we created conditional formatting we created a point chart we changed every little every single formatting option in every visual so the last thing in this course is your review Please, please, please write your honest review of this course in the review section and don't hesitate to ask any, any question. If your question in the course content, please ask it. If you have any question in planning in Power BI, in Primavera, in any other software, don't hesitate. Don't think if you have any question, just ask it directly. Uh, in the comment section or on my social media or on my website just ask me any question in anything and i will be more than happy to answer all your questions new videos are coming soon videos about publishing these dashboards and how to export the dashboard how to send this dashboard in your to your uh, clients how to show it in uh, mobile view how to share it uh, to be interactive online with uh, with everyone uh, you send him the link of the dashboard and he can view this dashboard online from his mobile or from his desktop or whatever you want and the last thing i want to wish you all the best and i wish that uh, i successfully help you to create your first dashboard in power bi this is sherif al thank you for your time